as I am sure you've heard, I won't stop talking about press on nails and what I mean by that are nail tips that are um, painted or nail arted and then you just use a little bit of nail glue and pop them on. Um, I ordered a set from a small business that I will put down below and I'll pop up a picture and I fell in love. She was having a sale and I was like, why not? Let's try something new. Boxes of nail tips later and I'm making my own but not like really. I'm still ordering from her because I can't do everything but I can do some of them. And I have a ton of gel polishes which are really good for the press-ons. So. I'm going to run through what I have purchased so far. Um, I'm going to make a set with you and then kind of while I'm doing that explain why I think that they are so great. So I have purchased a few different nail sets. Let me pull you out just a little bit. These are the nail tips. Um, they come in like all kinds of different style like containers but I try to purchase the ones that have a box where they're all separated. I think that these are a like ballerina coffin style. So they have a square tip up there at the top and they come in um, 10 different sizes and then you just size them on your nail, which I'll show you here in just a second. So these are the nail tips. I will link them down below, the ones that I have purchased. The set that I ordered came with these kind of like honestly pet looking at nail clippers and this is how you can cut them down to a little bit more of a suitable size for um like in my case functioning so I ordered that in the kit it comes with like some nail files that I don't really use and then um some nail glue most of the press on nail companies like small businesses that you will order from will have either like an add-on or included a little kit to put your nails on so that you can um, use their uh, use their their nails basically if you want to some uh, companies include these or you can find them on Amazon. They are like gel tabs and you can put them on for either two to like three days with the gel tabs and you just soak them in water, like warm water to remove them. Or if you want them for up to two weeks, you can use a nail glue and again, you soak them in warm water, but just a little bit longer. And if you soak them completely, soak all of the glue off completely and you don't pull them, then you will have no damage to your nails. I also ordered these little tips so they come just like this with nothing on them and they magnet magnetize onto this little set and then you use some kind of sticky tack um, to hold the nail in place so you can paint and um, do everything that you need to do. You can pick it up or leave it on here. Um, you can put one individual nail into a lamp if you're using gel polish or you can pop this whole thing into the lamp and cure everything that you need to. So I think that's everything that I have purchased. I already have a shit ton of uh, gel polish. So I've just been using what I had there and then I already had a gel lamp as well. So as far as sizing, some brands will give you an option of ordering a sizing kit. I highly recommend doing that. They'll send you the different sizes in um, like the shape that you order and they'll give you all the sizes you size them and then you can tell them what you want obviously it'll take a little bit longer to get your sizing back or like get your set versus just saying hey i want this marble set send it to me but if the brand offers a 20 piece set where you order two of each nail that's going to be more expensive usually than getting the sizing kit and then just ordering your correct size so I hope that made sense. But basically, you will just get your sizing kit um, and you'll just kind of put it over your nail and see where it goes over. You don't want it to go over too much because then it will be really uncomfortable. So like this one goes over like really far into my skin right here. If you can see that the size two is a little bit... Um, better at coming over into my skin so that it doesn't like 
cut me, but it still covers both sides of my nail. Um, some nails, just depending on like what style you're getting, you need to like curve them in a little bit. But you basically just go through and put one over each nail and just make sure that it covers your nail but doesn't like dig over into your skin too much because that will be really uncomfortable. Once you have figured out the size that you want your nail to be in, if you want nails long like this, you can obviously leave them long. I don't particularly want them to be that long, especially for the nail look that we're going to be doing today. So I am going to go ahead and cut them. Um, but first, I'm just going to measure them to be about where I want them. And then I'm going to, I put them both in at the same time. I don't know if everyone does that, but just to make sure that they're like the right size initially, I'm going to put them in at the same time. Try to make sure that it's like straight across. Um, some nails I have heard will like leave a line or something if you cut them, but I haven't had that issue so far with these nails. So I'm going to cut all the nails down to the size that I want. After your little nails are all cut, you want to file them and like shape them similar to um, just your nails. <laughs> so this is where you pop them onto here and they'll stick so that you can kind of work with them a little bit better. And you just want to make sure that like none of this is coming outside of the nail because you're obviously going to be putting gel onto it and you don't want any of the gel to cure onto the sticky tack. The next thing that you're going to do is go ahead and buff the top of the nails. You don't want to do too much, but you want to do enough just like if you were painting gel onto your natural nail. Just enough for the gel base coat to kind of stick on the natural nail. For the look I'm going to do today, I'm going to be using a kind of interesting combination of colors over a white base. I'm going to be doing a terrazzo nail look. I tried out the colors here on this little... Uh, swatchy thing and I actually really like them so we are going to be doing these colors today and I will put all the colors down below all of these are from Madam Glam and they were sent to me in PR but I'm just using them because I think that they're beautiful so everything is all wiped down and now I'm just going to get to painting I am going to be using a uh base coat I'm going to go ahead and put base coat on the nails and I will just kind of go through why I have been loving them and and have this newfound love for them um but yeah I just I I don't think I literally had no like press on anything on my radar I just really wanted to support the small business and all of her nails looked really pretty at the um, small business that I ordered them from. And so I went ahead and ordered a set and it was um, a shape that I don't normally do. It was a nail art that I really didn't wanna deal with, um, like doing it myself or trying to do it myself. And I knew that her nail art skills were amazing. So <laughs> I just decided to go ahead and order them. And I am so glad that I did because it gave me a new love for nail art because part of my issue with nail art is it's like a one and done situation when you do it on your nails because obviously you take it off. Um, it doesn't last forever. But a lot of the looks that you do, you can do on press-ons and then wear them more often because they are reusable. If you take care of them and you soak them properly and all of that, um, they're reusable. So you can do nail art on them and then just keep wearing them. So the press-ons that I ordered, I ordered a nail art that I feel like I would want to wear um, quite often. And I'm really excited that I did because now I can pop those on anytime I'm feeling that nail art. So I think that um, that's like a number one thing for me with the press-ons is like I can wear them multiple times and keep the same nail art that I really, really enjoy, which is a huge selling point for me. After I paint the base coat on, I cure for 30 seconds, which is just the recommended time on the back of the gel bottle. Now I'm going to go in with the white and try to do really thin coats so that it doesn't pool anywhere or get really, really messy.
So I went ahead and did three coats of white. I'm trying to make this like my first set that's like really good. Um, so I'm really trying to make them like look good and look nice. So we'll see. But I did three coats and now I'm going to go ahead in with my colors. And the nice thing about gel is that it doesn't really dry unless you cure it. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop out all the colors on here. And they will be able to sit while I do everything. I just kind of picked like a fall version of a um, terrazzo that I had done before. I just tried to pick out like similar kind of colors. But with a little bit more like dusty-ish quality, I guess. And then I added a pop of blue in there. I feel like it could be a little more fall if I took this kind of bright blue out but I really like it and I think it kind of makes it like it makes it have a little bit more dimension if you can see over here just a little something a little something extra and then the black is just to bring it down a little bit give it some little dots and give it a little bit more depth just with the colors is really nice, but I've discovered the thing with the Terrazzo kind of color palette is that it looks really nice if it has ooh, some kind of black dots in them. And now basically you just go through and put all the dots on. That's a Terrazzo look. My next point with really how much I enjoy press-ons is that I can change my um, nail shape like week to week pretty much. Um, I like this square kind of shape normally, but I also, I ordered mine in like kind of this stiletto-y shape and I can have um, a set that is really long and like keep them long how they were before I cut them. And you can really just kind of have different shapes to try out. Or if you're just a swatcher, you can have... Um, like if you break a nail or something, you could make a press on that's like exactly the same size as your nails and um, just have that, which would be nice, I think. So just tons of different like things that you can do with them. I just think that they're so interesting and I really honestly did not think that I would like them as much as I do. I'm like, kind of getting annoyed with myself so I'm sure you guys are all getting annoyed as well but I really do just think they're freaking fun like you can have so many different looks with them and you can reuse like I said which is obviously amazing so I just really like them <laughs> And I know everyone had like some questions on a couple of videos where I had mentioned them before. So I wanted to go ahead and do like a full kind of start to finish video on them. Finally finished the first hand over here. I'm going to go ahead and cure it and then throw some top coat on. It is the next day. The nails are done and they're very cute. Um, it just took so long last night that I did not want to put them on. So I'm just going to do a really light buff around my nail. This is going to help the like glue kind of 
stick in there and then hatch into the press-ons. Just like really light, like barely anything. Next, I'm gonna push back my cuticles. Once you have pushed back your cuticles, you're gonna wanna go ahead and wipe down your nail to get all of the dirt and everything off. And then it is finally time to put on your press-ons. So I just take my press-on nail and like make sure it's fitting okay and looking okay. And I push my kind of nail bed back a little bit with the press-on. I go ahead and put a little bit of glue on the nail and then a little bit more on the actual press-on tip. And that just really helps um, get the nail to stick well with the glue. And I will say the first time that I put press-ons on, I think that I did a video and I explained that I like pushed them into my nail bed a little bit too much. So they actually started to hurt. You want to like line them up with your cuticle and not push them completely down into your nail bed. And that will just help you have like a really nice look, but also not hurt your finger because these are basically just pieces of plastic. Another thing to note is just how much glue you're using. You really don't need a whole lot and if you um, use too much then it'll be really hard to soak them off later. But another reason why I love press-ons is this took me probably five minutes to put these on. I highly recommend going from your pinkies and working your way in on each finger and doing both of your thumbs last. It is just something that has worked out really well for me. Um, I think it was Jackie Ina's video that I watched where she said that and it was just it's such a helpful tip to have your thumbs be free and open and not have to worry about them. So I start from my pinkies and work my way in. But yes the application is just so easy and that's something that I really like. Actually right when I'm filming this we had to leave to go to a birthday party and it took me, like I said, maybe five minutes to put these on. And obviously you'll get better as you keep going. And they're just so easy to throw on and head out the door. I have mentioned in other videos that I've done with the press-ons that they are so simple to remove. You literally just soak them in warm water. Depending on how much glue you use, it will take longer for you to soak them off, obviously. So just be mindful of that. You really don't need a whole lot and it goes a long way to keep the nails on and un again if they pop off you can just add a little bit more glue and press them back on. And I guess that kind of brings me to my last point of why I love the press-ons and why I feel like they're just taking over my nail life. I definitely think that they come off so easily and they don't damage your nail. So when I think about like acrylics and things like that, if they're not taken off properly, they can damage your nail. And I don't really want to spend all that time like with the gel where you have to file everything and like be really careful. With the press-ons for removal, you just soak until the glue is dissolved and it's so easy. If you pull when the glue is not dissolved, then you're going to damage your nails. But for the most part, you just soak them off and they are completely uh, damage free and it is wonderful. So I really enjoy how easy they are to put on and take off and I can make them in all kinds of different shapes and all of those things that I can't really do with like a gel polish or something like that. So I highly recommend press on nails obviously. All right, and here is the finished set. I absolutely love these nails. And the best part is that I can re-wear them. I hope that you guys enjoyed this one. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know down below. And if you're interested in more videos on press-ons, please just comment down below and let me know.